Hello, this is Vern, and if you've been recently heartbroken, if you're confused as to why you should want to step in the game again and create a connection, a partnership with a man, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the seven top reasons why I feel, despite the risks, despite the potential pain, why it's so beneficial for you to create a connection with the right guy. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart driven women how to create the relationship of your dreams and create the attraction and connection you want with a conscious guy with no gimmicks, no manipulation, no BS texting tactics that don't work. But as a result of you creating the most alive, the most sensual, the most feminine version of yourself. Here's the thing. I connect with so many women who are about to throw in the towel and sometimes it feels heartbreaking to witness because imagine a woman is 45 years of age, 50 years of age, and by the time she reaches 90, right, or 95, uh, that's going to be a very real possibility for her lifespan, right? So imagine that she spends the next 40 years of her life after giving up, not creating the juice and the connection she wants with someone. For all the grief I give to men who don't show up the right way, I have to give it up for guys who are showing up day in, day out with aliveness, with passion, with kindness, with generosity, with purpose. Uh, And you may or may not be connecting with these guys, but to think that they don't exist because you haven't connected with them would be absolutely false. So the first reason why you want to create a powerful devotional connection with a man is because it will help you to let go of the feeling of having to make it happen all the fucking time. If you're carrying around on your shoulders in your uh, the weight of the world because you have to be so many, you have to be the friend, you have to be the uh, purse executive, you have to be uh, the mom, you have to be so many, you wear so many hats, but you don't relax in a way where someone can also add things to your, to your life, make it happen, uh, where you can let go of the control and, and, and still enjoy life in a positive way. Well, connecting with the right guy will allow you, because he's going to come with his own sense of wanting to make things happen, wanting to have a sense of direction, wanting to add value to your life in some way. And that means you can relax more. That means you don't have to be on action mode all the time. You can also be in receiving mode, which is very beneficial and healing. Number two, because it creates a level of spontaneous support, service. Why? Because a guy that you connect with who is a generous guy, a guy who you connect with who's a, an ambitious guy, a guy that you connect with who's a conscious guy, his nature will be stepping into service, not just of himself, that's a narcissist a-hole, in service of somebody else, in service of you. So that means that you might unaided, he might unaided add something to your life, bring some value to your life that you don't even expect and it creates that sense of being taken care of in the healthiest way. Third reason why you want to create a conscious connection with a guy despite the fact that it's not the easiest thing in the world, despite the fact that not every guy will be an option for you, is because it creates playful connection. It creates sexual tension, fun banter. It, it just It's a way for you to enjoy the simplicity of a joke, the simplicity of a powerful moment into human beings, the simplicity of laughing for no reason whatsoever, being childlike, not childish, but childlike again, where you can let simple things in life add a sense of playfulness, add a sense of wonder, add a sense of curiosity and connection in a very fun way with someone. Number fourth reason is because it's going to add simplicity to your days. Here's why. You'll come up to him and share a 25-step plan to reach the moon. And many times you'll say, well, how about if we just do these one, two things and and get to the same thing? And you'll say, well, no, no, it has to be more complex. You have to go in circles and you have like, and sometimes the straightforward, very 
linear way of thinking that men have will add value to your life, will add value to the problems you're trying to solve in 25 steps, overthinking it sometimes, overcompensating uh, with, with some emotions. And maybe the guy, I mean, and I, you could say this is stereotypical, but think about it in some ways. Sometimes you'll come up with this very big problem and he'll look at it from a different perspective and give you an angle that allows you to step back and more abstractly look at the situation and perhaps solve it with his input, with his more detached way of looking at things in a clearer, simpler, more elegant way. I'm not saying every single time, but sometimes he will share with you in a very direct way things that would have taken a girlfriend a couple of months to actually surface, he might say in two sentences something you need to hear or something you need to you can benefit from. And that is the simplicity of a guy. He's gonna look at things with a different perspective, with a different brain, different nervous system. Sometimes it's gonna be annoying as hell, but sometimes it's gonna be a lifesaver. And those are the times where this type of connection will benefit and add value to your life. Uh, fifth reason, and I put it a fifth because it's not the most important thing, I don't think, uh, but it is important, which is sex. And sex, you say, well, can you be more obvious? I'm not talking about sex, just exchanging of physical connection. Yes, the first part of sex will be sex as a means to enhance pleasure in your life and in his life with in and of itself, that's gonna be beneficial beyond the act of sex because when you end that encounter, when you walk back to work, when you connect with your children, when you, there's a different you who's more connected to her pleasure, who is in turn able to share more of her own heart, her own life, her own sense of abundance with others. So that's the first one. Within sex, you'll also have healing. He sex as a doorway to healing, healing wounds of your not feeling enough, healing wounds of you feeling your body is not what it needs to be. When you have a man adoring you from head to toes and letting you know with unequivocal sense of firmness, no pun intended, that he thinks you're an absolute goddess, he feels it with every fiber of his being, there's a healing that takes place that no amount of therapy can actually provide to you. It's the healing of the masculine being in presence, in your presence, adoring you, respecting you, protecting you, and you allowing that healing force to take place in the most visceral way. The next part of it is basically, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but it's as a way of loving God. If you're religious, this is not even religious in nature, this is more spiritual in nature. Uh, you can say loving the universe, loving what is, but I say uh, as a way of loving God because when you can connect to someone at that level of intimacy where all your walls are stripped down, where the naked soul and heart and body are presented in front of somebody else. And the thing that radiates from you is an acceptance and an openness. And the thing that radiates from him is an embracing and an acceptance of you as well. That is the way that you understand the bigger type of love that exists. That in that specific moment, for a second, for a brief second, there's no walls, there's no strings attached, there is just being. That is just a microcosm of what that bigger love out there for you is, is available for you. And the way you can connect with and share some version of that to the people around you. Number six, <laughs> the sixth reason why you want to create a conscious relationship with a man despite the fact that you might be heartbroken right now, but you wanna find a way to step into it again is because you will create a sense of true, deep friendship having a partner in crime, somebody who gets you, somebody who understands you, somebody who knows you, somebody who's hungry to continue learning more about the non-ending part of you that's expanding and changing, and you do the same with him. The level of friendship, I mean, by the way, that's the foundation, that's the basis of any relationship. Without friendship, it's unsustainable. With friendship, it's so much more meaningful. Friendship and that partnership is some are some of the most important, powerful reasons why you want to find a way to create this level of connection with your guy. Number seven is witness. Uh, witness would be the ability to have been seen, the ability to see and have been seen in ways that are transcendental, basically, where you can live in the heart of others and specifically 
his heart, regardless of not being in his presence, regardless of not being physically here, regardless of maybe leaving this place before he does. The, the, the ability to having been witnessed by someone who knows you, understands you, and loves you, and the validation of that witnessing as it relates to you serving a purpose here is just beautiful. I'm not saying he's the only one who will witness you in any way, but that level of witnessing of every part of your being and still being there to love you, that's pretty powerful and special. So I hope you find this helpful, useful, and insightful if you do. I'm going to ask you to do three things, my dear. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. I'm uh, maybe a week and a half away, <laughs> maybe two weeks away from reaching the 100,000 subscriber mark. Be part of this movement. My goal is to add value to your life every day uh, that I share something with you. So uh, subscribe to the, video, uh, the videos and click the little bell so you're notified when new videos come out. The last thing I'll say is if you find this is helpful and you want to go deeper, I've created a masterclass on the first line of the description of this video. I created a masterclass that allows you to learn much more about how to create this kind of, how to enter the kind of relationship I'm talking about right now. It's free. All you have to do is enter your name and email and you'll start watching this right away. For some of you, not all of you, those of you who are extra ambitious, those of you who have less time to figure this thing on your own, who are more sick and tired of saying, I've done a few things and now I want real hand-holding, no BS, uh, trying to rediscover fire. I want you to help me get this. I want you to help me to create this result for myself and with someone. Then there's another link in the description of this video that will allow you to apply to work with me. Uh, you submit an application. If I feel we might be a good fit, uh, we'll connect, we'll connect, we'll speak. And uh, if I feel I can help you, I'll offer you a spot in my program. And if you say yes, then I'll help you to create the result that you're looking for in a lot less time with a lot less pain than your current trajectory. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.